Hello, uh, I want to make a quick demonstration of how you can uh, connect your Phantom Wallet uh, to your web application. Uh, you can download uh, Phantom Wallet here. It's for Solana ecosystem. It uh, simply works with Solana. And uh, I was also researching how to make this integration, but I really couldn't find uh, some good examples and I decided to make one example myself. Uh, I also put this code on GitHub uh, so you can find uh, this open source code. It's simple Laravel application. I used uh, Bootstrap, jQuery and uh, yeah, uh, this is just a very simple application. You, uh, there's no need for Laravel, don't uh, let it scare you. I just was planning to make it something bigger and uh, I just started with this part and uh, want to already share that part. So you can simply copy example to environment file. You can even change some uh, name of the application that will be visible on title. Just run Composer install and then you can use Laravel built-in server for uh, serving this application because there is no mm, database or anything here and then you can see, you simply see the basic screen which I built and there's a button with login with phantom this will actually trigger uh, our uh, yeah this valid uh, permission screen you can see and here it's basically asking for uh, displaying wallet balance and activity also account information it will get this account information and uh, displayed here and also it uh, will have permission to request approvals for transactions but will not be able to do any transaction of course so be without your permission so let's connect the wallet and see uh, we immediately see it was very fast it uh, bring us account information and balance also we can also display already to see it's, uh, if it's exactly correct. You can see it's also green here. It means it's connected to the website at the moment. And yeah, this part works a little bit slow. Normally it's faster. Okay, here we can see our balance. It's same as here. And uh, yeah, basically if we also refresh the page, we will see that uh, it will connect immediately automatically so you don't need to give uh, permission every time and uh, yeah and if you want to repeat this action if you just want to see the screen uh, permission screen again what you need to do is to go to settings tab uh, in your wallet And then you can see trusted apps and you can revoke the access. Uh, and then if you, I refresh the page, I will see login screen again and just can trigger everything again for testing purpose. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot.